What's up there, YouTube? It's been a while. Um, sorry for taking so long before I was able to get back here and get back to you guys and show you some more stuff. But I've been real busy, and I haven't had a real a lot of chance to post many videos on YouTube other than the last one I posted, I think was my update to my Hyundai Elantra or something. I forget which one it was. But anyway, I've been doing a lot of editing because that's why I haven't been posting a lot of YouTube videos because I've been busy editing projects for customers who whose weddings I did. And some of them are like re-editing some stuff. And today it's uh, Sunday, uh, Daylight Savings Time Day. And I was, I'm sitting here, I've, I've been editing a wedding for a, for a couple who I shot in Tampa, Florida last year i forget exactly when but i sent them a teaser and they really loved it and i sent them uh, a feature film they really loved it and now that i'm trying to get their video ready to ship on monday or tuesday or whatever um so i'm going through i usually do a quick edit of the of the ceremony and just take some clips out for their teaser but then i'm actually have to go back and edit the full ceremony so that i can you know, give them the full version of the of the video on their final DVDs so you can see it. I've been editing an Edius. I did have to did have to pay for ten dollars a month for Lightroom because I just couldn't do the photos organization in the photos as fast in any of the other programs yet. But they're adding it. So once they add those features to um, some of the other Affinity Photo or some of the other ones that I was telling you about, Luminaire or whatever. Whenever they add those features, then I can probably just dump Lightroom because I only use it for that. I've noticed when I was editing, I went and I went ahead and bought Pluralize, but Premiere is supposed to be coming out with. I bought the upgrade to Pluralize Four to make it easier to sync because this project had three cameras going on and off at different times. You had a the Sony a, a G eighty five and a Nikon all clicking on and off at different times. And you can see the, all the video files on the screen here. If you look at all these video files, there's like uh, four four camera tracks. What, 13 audio tracks? 14 audio tracks? No, 17 audio tracks. There's 17 tracks of audio because one of the cameras is shooting in 5.1 surround sound for most of the audio. And it ran almost the whole time here on the bottom track to give them a nice surround sound track. And it's just a ton of a ton of clips to sync. So what I did was I got Pluralize and it kind of syncs. It syncs part of the stuff. Like it's not good if the clips are shot at different frame rates. It can't tell which ones are supposed to go on which thing. So it did a basic sync and then I came and added the other clips back in that it didn't sync up properly, but it did better than me trying to go through and do all of it. But one of the things I was noticing when I'm in here editing, and I've been taking it for granted, is just the sheer ease at which it is to edit multi-camera in, in Edius compared to Premiere. So in Premiere, I did a video on that, and you could see that it puts it all on one track. But if you want to cut to a different camera, like say in Edius, if I'm if I'm on this camera here, right? This is the camera that it's on. And I want to cut to, say, this camera here. I have to go to the thing. I have to right click and choose camera. You know, I have to right click and choose enable or whatever to the thing. So what you do is in Edius, you can actually just click over here. And then if I wanted this camera instead of that camera, I just click that camera. And it automatically enables it and turns it on. It doesn't split like in Premiere, it will put a splice right there. And it'll change from this camera to that camera at the timeline. Well, in Edius, it actually just, you can click it at any time after the fact, and it'll just re-enable that clip. It's it's much faster and easier to do. I really liked it a lot, a lot better. The more I use it, the more I like it. The more I like the way Edius does this. And like simple things like at the beginning of the track, say I click, say I automatically clicked over from this camera, from this camera to this camera, Right, so let me zoom in. Oops, that's out. Zoom in. So if I'm already clicking from this camera to this camera, right? And but it was moving, and I wanted to wait until that point right there when it's not moving. I can just drag this over in Edius. It's much faster and easier in Edius just to go boom. Now it stays on this camera until right there when they come down the aisle. 
it just works out faster. It's much quicker just to drag the thing and it drags both clips at the same time over. It's just a, it's just it's just a much better program for editing multi it's much better editing multi-camera in this program. Is I tried DaVinci Resolve and God almighty it was bad. Okay. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so DaVinci Resolve 14 it did really bad on the on the synchronization and I don't like how it does the multi-camera at all. I don't understand unless you're absolutely shooting with separate cameras. I see I saved a project here. I'm going to open it. Um, hopefully it's still in here. Um, I'll just show you what this did. It didn't do anything that it was supposed to do. So it came up with a multi-camera sequence. But it couldn't see the clips, like all these clips here. Like if I click Shift and then Control, these clips are all the clips that are supposed to be in the same thing. Create bin with selected clips. We're going to call it Multi Two. I'm going to drag this bin over to the master bin. Okay, so multi two, here's your clip. Now, if you highlight these and you choose new multi clip, multi cam clip using selected clips, multi cam two, we're going to call it multi cam two. Multi two. In out sequence, sequence, detect clips from same camera. We're going to click that. Angle sync in. We're going to go sound. Right? I want it to sync by sound. So I want it to automatically synchronize the clips and I want it to recognize the camera. So create. So what it does is analyzes. It's a great idea. The way it first starts, I was thinking, oh, this is awesome. I love the way this you know program will find the clips and automatically sync the audio. This is fantastic. And there's two different camera types. There's an MOV and an MP4. So it should be able to put all these clips from MP4 on one track. All the clips from MP MOV on the other track and say this is one camera, this is the other camera. And here's the here's the thing. Maybe it does that when I detect that. I tried the first time not detecting clips from same camera and it made like 16 tracks. It made like all these tracks. It says complete, but no match found when attempting to sync these clips. So there's two of them it couldn't find. Click OK. So multi two is right here. Where is it? Multi two. Now see, we got angle three, angle eight, angle ten. Where? What is this? So if I go to this first one, and how do I get it to come up? Is this it? Like I'm getting there now. Look, it has like all these things. Here we go. Here's what I was talking about. Look, I got. It put all these cameras on separate tracks, that one on a separate track. It put like eight cameras on separate, like different cameras running at the same time, all on separate things instead of it being two, it's two, it's basically two camera angles, but I'm getting one, two, three, four, five different camera angles for a two camera angle shoot. I got two cameras. There's one camera angle. There's the other camera angle. I don't need five camera angles. And it had even more than that. It had like eight or ten. It kept putting more camera angles in the thing. And I couldn't, it wouldn't work. There's another one. See, there's another one. So this one and this one, same camera, but it's giving me two camera angles for it. It looks like maybe it did better when you selected detect cameras or whatever. And it only found two clips that it couldn't sync. Maybe it, maybe it does. Maybe it does do pretty good. I guess I could probably work with a little bit more, but... Maybe that will do it, but I can't, it's just doesn't make any sense. There's no multi-camera mode or anything for multi-camera than Premiere. And it appears much better than DaVinci Resolve because there's the clip. There's the cameras. They come right out and here's the two camera angles and the one that's showing. I wish it would get rid of this and give me two big ones. And let me see that over on the other monitor. Maybe it does. Maybe I can select what I want to see. Now nah, it's, it's probably somewhere in there. Anyway, I just thought I'd bring that to your attention, show you a couple things, give you guys an update, what I'm doing. I'm super busy trying to edit and get some stuff done for some clients. 
so that I can have more free time for me. Um, I've been busy with a bunch of other stuff. They announced the so the new Sony. Um, I'm getting into too many things here, so I'll let this go. Anyway, that's my impressions of what's going on so far. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thumbs down if you didn't. If you want to see more content, let me know. I've just been real busy and haven't had a chance to really do much. And I apologize for that, everybody. So I've been real busy. Peace. I'm out.